And welcome back. The coronavirus was declared a pandemic on Wednesday. Pandemics are by definition contagious diseases that spread worldwide. COVID-19 is one of two current pandemics, the other being HIV AIDS. There's been Spanish flu, smallpox, typhus, tuberculosis, and much more. Every pandemic is different, everyone frightening and managed in a different way. The scientific criteria for an influenza pandemic have been met. The most recent pandemic before this was the 2009 flu, called H1N1, or swine flu. Further spread is considered inevitable. As many of us remember, it led to a chaotic scramble to vaccinate the most vulnerable, those over the age of 65, under the age of five, and pregnant women. I don't want anybody to be alarmed, uh, but I do want everybody to be prepared. Before it tapered off in the spring of 2010, H1N1 infected between 10 and 20 percent of the world's population and killed up to 575,000. A decade before H1N1, the World Health Organization issued its first pandemic plans in 1999. That was five years after Richard Preston's chilling international bestseller, The Hot Zone, which detailed the origins of two terrifying Central African diseases, including Ebola. You got 19 dead, you got hundreds more infected, and it's spreading like a brush fire. The movie Outbreak. In 1995, imagine an Ebola-like outbreak in California. We got to get everybody else back into the houses. We got to keep them there. We're doing that, Sam. No, we're not doing it because I just drove through 100 people. More recently, Contagion in 2011 examined the breakdown of social order during an outbreak. So we have a virus with no treatment protocol and no vaccine at this time. Hollywood often deals in fast-moving fiction, but the world has seen slower, more sustained spreads. The most devastating pandemic in history was the Black Death between 1347 and 1351. The bubonic plague killed up to 200 million, including between 30 and 60 percent of Europe's population. Later, smallpox was responsible for hundreds of thousands of deaths a year, peaking in the 18th century. It remains the only infectious disease that's been completely eradicated. Cholera became widespread in the 19th century and remains a major problem in areas without a clean water supply. The worst pandemic of the 20th century was the Spanish flu, the original outbreak involving H1N1. It killed up to 100 million. One quarter of the world's population has been infected with tuberculosis. <laughs> Malaria is always a threat in tropical regions. Neither, though, were currently considered pandemics. The only other disease classified as such today is HIV AIDS, first identified by the CDC in 1981. Because of uh, the HIV virus that I have attained, uh, I will have to retire from the Lakers. But it was this announcement from NBA legend Magic Johnson in 1991 that helped the world realize HIV AIDS could affect anyone. I plan on going on living for a long time, bugging you guys like I've always have. While treatments have improved dramatically, the disease has killed more than 32 million over the past three decades. And we, we all remember that moment, yes, right? Yes, we do. And we forget he has lived through yeah. it yeah. these past yep. 30 years. And I think we also forget the fear that originally was there being Absolutely. so uncertain as to how you would acquire the disease. We know now we didn't then. Right. As they say, nothing spreads like fear. Right, right. Well yep. said. Research, not hysteria. Information.